Good morning, everybody. I am Pat Nauer, I'm the CEO of Corner Office University. I'm a business coach and I am a co-host here on the Everyday Riches Show. And my co-host is Miss Barbara Ellison. Of Ma's Barbara Ellison. And I am your personality pro because personality drives reality. And we are so excited to have you here. And if you're here, let us know. And if you're not, hit hashtag replay. There you go. <laughs> And we're really excited today because we've got Trissa here. Trissa Tismel Capelli um, teaches simple steps on how to optimize performance, boost productivity, and skyrocket profits without stress, overwhelm, and anxiety. Man, we all need that, don't we? She has been a certified professional coach and speaker for over 13 years, helping thousands of entrepreneurs, coaching multi-million dollar business owners, and advising billionaires. Dubbed as America's transformational success coach, she's on a mission to help business leaders enjoy true success in all life areas so they can live happy, abundant, and stress-free. And stress she loves interviewing world leaders and business successes, and including the top New York Times bestselling authors. She was a host on Balance TV, which aired on Discovery Fit and Health Channel, where she interviewed top entrepreneurs who exemplified health, wealth, and giving back. She was also recognized as a top marketing consultant for a multinational billion dollar company and featured on major, major media, including CBS, NBC, and Fox. Her proven track record in bringing together high profile experts in her life and virtual conferences facilitates a community of committed, of committed people to change. And we're so welcome to have you. We're so excited, Trissa. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm really excited to be here. Yay. Yeah. So we've got a lot to talk about, but first of all, what happy new year. Happy We're in a new year. year. Yes. Exciting. I mean, seriously, it's so exciting. Yeah. And we've got somebody watching. So you could just say hello to us. We'd appreciate that. We like knowing that somebody's here and watching. Um, so Trissa, what did you do for the new year? Anything fun? Hmm. What did we do? You know what? We went to the pier. I went to the pier with the kids and we got some seafood and just you know soaked up that ocean breeze and it was fun you know that's what we did and then we had a quiet night you know we had little kids so we're like okay we'll just do new year you know the next day but yeah that was that was a fun thing we did for new year that's fantastic barb what did you do for new year's anything fun well you know if you tell you to do i had done a little bit of work and stuff and fell asleep woke up at quarter to 12. And went, okay, I'm wide awake. Oh, well, it's quarter to 12. At least let's do the countdown. So did the countdown uh, just here in Chicago because I was by myself. Everybody else had gone to bed. But then I watched the international fireworks. Ooh. The one that absolutely was breathtaking, even on TV, was the one from Taipei, Taiwan. The whole building was the launching pad. So it, there wow. was fireworks coming out of every corner of the building, every side of the building. And it was like, wow, it, it might be on my list because I obviously not something that they do only one time. It's obviously something that's been a continuous thing. I would love to go and see it in person. It was amazing. And, you know, and then of course it was like, yeah, well, happy new year. And, but it was, it was really, I was glad I did it. <laughs> you know, something something different so it was fun something to put on barb's bucket list something to put and you know what and i did i put it on my bucket list of things 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 to do in person things to do in person um, nice yeah so it was it was beautiful even on tv didn't understand a word of what they were saying but it was just you know it was the visual and that's one of the things that don't don't you think that visuals have no language there is you can it doesn't matter where you are in the world when you can touch somebody somehow it's it, it's amazing so it's cool makes a difference makes i love it difference. and yeah. i love how you woke up just minutes before it just to yeah. see like just to see it and i have told so many people to go back and watch the replay it's on youtube it will i have, Good, I have yeah. to watch it live but it, I think it's still on up there on YouTube. And I've had a, it's like, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Thanks, Barb. Because, you know, sometimes it just was like, wow, this was amazing. Just the ingenuity of mm -hmm. who has the knowledge to put it so that it all 
seamlessly, there were probably hiccups that we don't see, but that to the seamless, it was, it was just a beautiful sight, beautiful sight. So nice. Nice. And I spent the evening, um, I volunteered at, there's a place in, in Kissimmee, Florida called Give Kids a World Village. And what it is, whenever a kid or a family is coming here, primarily from a Make-A-Wish type foundation, there are over 250 foundations around the world that, that, um, that refer families to come here. But whenever they're coming, they stay at the Give, at the Give Kids a World Village. And there are 184 villas. And each one of the villas holds two families. They're two bedroom, two bath places. And they um, they they have everything there for them. The families, when they come, they pay for nothing. The only thing they pay for when they come is souvenirs. So they get, of course, all their amusement park tickets, but then all their food gets paid for and their car rentals and everything. So because of COVID, they weren't able to have uh, families here starting in March. So they decided to do this fundraiser and Disney donated the Osborne family lights. And if you've ever seen them, you know, they're amazing. 3.3 million lights wow. and they were donated and they decorated the entire village. Um, it was amazing. And they did it for 52 days. I believe it was 52 days. They allowed people in. It's the first time that they've allowed the public in. Uh, and the place has been here since 1986. So it was a once in a lifetime thing. So I volunteered a good portion of the season going and, you know, doing different things within the village to be able to help, you know, people to be able to come in and enjoy the view. And it was amazing. It was amazing. Such a great experience. And if you know anybody who is, you know, in a position, a child who is really ill and needs to go to make a wish, send them to make a wish. Right now there are over 6,000 families waiting to come. The first families coming back are coming January 17th. Um, it's going to be such an exciting time to have families back. And again, you know, this may not ever happen again. I did on my own personal Facebook page, I do have some video of it um, on the last night. I didn't video as much as I probably should, but I did about seven minutes of video to show what it was really like. And it's just amazing. So, and then I went, and then I went to a hotel and spent the night there and spent until 1.30 talking to family and friends on the phone, of course, because it was New Year. So it's a good time. Yeah. I think but we texted we're, back and forth. Yeah. We did text back and forth. You Good. bet. Because <laughs> fortunately, you're an hour behind, so it wasn't midnight for you at that. Well, when I talked to you, it was midnight. So It was midnight yes. for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Trissa, tell us what's going on in your world and what you're up to these days. Mm, well, this these days, I am really, really all out promoting the movement and the book, Your True Power. And it is a collection of stories of 14 powerful women who came together and shared our stories of transformation from our deepest, darkest despair and now living a life beyond amazing when we found our true power. And it's really exciting because you know, we can all tell and talk about like what true power is and all, see all these quotes and memes online of, you know, inspirational messages. But it's when, and I'm probably, you know, I'm pretty sure it's the same with both of you, that it's our experience, it's our stories that really made us realize that nugget of wisdom. We probably have been hearing that thing that lesson a long time for a long time over and over, but we didn't really recognize it and learn it until we walk that journey, that experience. And so we wanted the readers to walk that journey with us so they can learn what your true power really is from 14 different voices. So what was the turning point for you? For me, it's really when I, ha I was deep down in overwhelm, overwhelm from motherhood, from toxic relationships, overwhelm from just the pressure to excel in business. Mm. And that really brought me to um, a stress-induced autoimmune disease. And my whole face, my skin was super inflamed. I looked like, get a knife and you peeled it, peeled my skin. That's how mm. inflamed it was. And it felt like, you put vinegar, and citrus, lemon all over it. That's how burning it was. 
And so it was so painful. And this time, at this time, I've already gone through years and hundreds of thousands of personal growth. <laughs> so if you can imagine, I have been in this journey of what true success is and learning from um, just the most, the top mentors, right? Success leaders telling you what it takes to be successful. But yet I ended up in this place of despair and pain because you know of overwhelm and following every success advice really and so that really was the time when i was okay i followed everything i've done everything i thought i and i think i could do what else like what else can i open up to there's something here that i'm not seeing that's why i'm stuck in this place and so that was really the turning point for me is just to really open up to something that I, I didn't know or, or maybe I was resisting really before because I'm this analytical, logical, really, you know, like it has to be explained and I have to understand it for me to actually um, follow through with it. So, yeah, that was really huge for me, that point. So obviously you'd been ill for a while. It wasn't something that happened overnight. Yes. What was the catalyst that made you say, I've got to make the change today? So it really, so you're right, right? Like it was a journey. So I actually, you know, was in a journey of really looking. I've been to so many doctors, many alternative, um, you know, alternative ways to doing it. And everything was really not doing it wasn't helping or was it was making it worse and it's really when i so the catalyst right like it was really it was really i was just not stopping it was just really trying everything and it was when i actually it was an email <laughs> i saw this email that i've been i wasn't really paying attention to you know because it sounded super woo woo it wasn't this main you know like not the stuff that i used to you know to be studying and implementing and it says that you know it's that it will help me you know that it will help me and i'm like you know what i don't care i'll go i have nothing to lose um i didn't have time right I, it was an expensive thing to go to right like it was last minute but i went and then i when I was sitting there in class, I couldn't understand anything. <laughs> like none of it makes sense to me. Like everything they're talking about energetics and like nothing made sense. Like what are we talking about? And somebody told me in, the, in their team um, that just sit down there. It doesn't matter what they're talking about. They could be talking in Chinese, but you'll receive it anyway. And I just trusted it, but because again, I have nothing to lose. So I sat there hearing it as if it was Chinese, right? And true enough, at the end of like, you know, four days, suddenly things were clicking and I was understanding things. So I was actually brought, just being in the same room, brought into a different vibration and frequency that suddenly things were clicking. And I went home and things were totally shifting already just by being in a different vibration, different frequency. And so suddenly, you know, it's really that. It's that experience of shifting and letting go, letting go of the mind because I didn't have to understand anything that was being shared and just being, letting go. And then from there, I was able to say yes and see the solution, right? So one of the biggest things that tried healed me, the solution was being shared with me over and over, but I wasn't hearing it again. So for the second time, right? So, but now that I shifted the frequency and the energetics part of it, I finally saw and heard that other solution. So even when like all of these are already in front of us, we're not really hearing it when we're not ready and when we're not aligned with the energy and the frequency of what that is. So I hope that's making sense. 
No, totally. Because there are solutions all around us. There are clients all around us. But if we're not in the vibration to see it, if we're in a whole different vibration, it's kind of like, you know, the old the old um, saying about, you know, your radio is set to 98.6 and then somebody is at not is at 101.4. You know, you're not going to you're not going to connect with them because you're in a different vibration. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Even if we keep, you know, it's a solution that's been told to you over and over and over again. And yeah. even if you actually go in there, you're right. Like, even if you take something, because I've seen that, like, the solution might be really working, but because you're taking it, you're not even there and ready to heal, then it's not going to work for you. It's not actually the, the person or the healer. It's actually you. Right. Right. How did your family and friends react when you came back and you were a different person? <sighs> you know, it's also a a um, an evolution because it's actually to me it's such a joy and a miracle that as I was shifting, I see everyone around me shifting. Mm, it's nice. so magical that. Um, let's say come, you know, like being at home and let's say I mentioned like I, I was in a, you know, toxic relationships. And so let's say, you know, my husband would, I would be in a conversation and normally he'd be critical and judgmental and just like not wanting to listen to me. Suddenly, like those things, you know, in the beginning, like if he says something, it doesn't trigger me at all or it doesn't hurt me anymore. It's like I'm just watching it. And then as I am just watching it, I see them just, it's so surreal because they just, there's just like a flip of a switch and they, he just suddenly stops and suddenly shifts into listening and being loving and it's super cool. <laughs> so it, I literally, I literally got in my Prince Charming from my husband who was a self-proclaimed monster, really. Mm. Changed, the same person changed into my Prince Charming when I found my true power. So it's super duper cool. That's very cool. Because yeah, transformation yeah. is real. Yeah. Right. You know, so many people think that transformation is all woo woo and that, you know, the real physical stuff is the real stuff when it's the transformation is really what, what matters and energy is what matters. Exactly. And here, here's the thing. We call something woo-woo when we don't understand it. Understand it. Right. But the truth is, see, I didn't because this wasn't in my awareness. When once it's in our awareness, there's so, so much scientific research and evidence. Right. And now we're seeing that even the molecules in the atoms, that this is how they behave. It's not actually woo-woo. We call woo-woo and magic something we don't understand. Right. Right. Right? Yeah. But once we understand it, you know, it is yeah. I, one of the things for one of the things for me, I always think about it is that when you buy a new car and you and you've bought this, you know, great car, and then all of a sudden it's like, gee, everybody else bought the same car because now right. you're aware. And that I think is absolutely so essential is that moment of awareness. Oh. This is why I either have to say this or do this. And then all of a sudden, everything comes to you because, oh, oh, yeah. Why didn't I do this sooner? Well, you weren't ready for it sooner. But now but now it is coming to you. So, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So all the uh, powerful women in the book, they have they all gone through the same process that you've gone through or did they did they come to. Uh, the, the point of transformation differently. So everybody has different stories, right? So we have um, somebody who actually went into prison and drug addiction. Um, yeah, we have somebody who has been in a beaten and battered wife, like really physically abused. Um, I have, you know, we have one who was really at the point of being in a psychiatric ward, you know, like so many. And one who was really in a, her body shot down. She was in a brain fog. She was losing everything. She was told she was going, like she was losing all her functioning. And we all went through a very similar, We that's why we all um, talk about your true power differently, but we're talking about the same thing. Right. We all went through a similar process in terms of transformation, but it's all about finding our true power that we all now went to the other side of just living 
happy, abundant, and free. And let's be clear, you don't have to lose everything. You don't have to have a critical illness to be able to have transformation. Mm -hmm. right? No. And the thing is, it's, it's, here's the thing, right? Um, that's why we're sharing this. So people don't have to go through it. You know, so live through our experiences. You don't have to go through that pain. And if you are already going through the pain, then here's an inspiration to let you know that there is a way out. Right. One of the greatest things I think about books like this is that people do get to see um, people, other people's experiences. And, they, and if they use them correctly, they can use them almost like as mentorships. You know, people can start following you and seeing where you're going and how you're getting there and use you as a mentor without even having to, you know, hire you, although it's better if they do. But, um, but you know, if they don't have the money or it's just not the right time, then they can at least get the information you have to offer and use you as a role model so that they do get the transformation from a distance, right? Absolutely. I think it starts the journey. It does. It because that's, I think that's why all of us, every one of us here that are in this space are all here because everybody hears it differently. And when you can take one person and start them on their journey, you're a success. Doesn't matter what they continue to do with you or without you, but you have started the process. And mm -hmm. that is, it's, I, that's one of my favorite things of when I'm coaching, when I can either hear it or see the light bulb moment when something that I've said or that it lands, it absolutely lands and they embrace it and they're aware. And it's like, I always call it that light bulb moment when they get it and all of a sudden they know, okay, yeah, that is for me. And I can go forward and I can transform in this one little thing. And then that one little thing leads to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. And that is what is, yeah, that is what's so amazing. So what is the biggest takeaway that you have from doing the book? I mean, other than, you know, writing the book and compiling and all of that, but hearing all these fabulous women's stories, what's the big takeaway you got from the book? Hmm. The biggest takeaway really is that how powerful right. and how infinite the possibilities are when we really stand in our true power, live in our true power, because reading all the stories, they are a big spectrum of challenges and heartaches and despair. And it doesn't matter what it is that you're going through or went through, but there's just one answer. <laughs> it's really discovering and finding and living in your true power, which is it's really an energetic state of being. Mm. It's really a, a state of how you do things. It's something that you feel in your heart. It's something, it's, a, it's just really a state it's not something tangible or concrete that, hey, you know, that you can describe. That's why we wanted to share it in these different voices. But once you read all the stories, you're going to kind of feel and embody what that is because you're, it's, it's a state that you're going to sense in every story. So reading it, that's really a great takeaway. And, it, and I've read it a few times and every time I do, it just amplifies that. It amplifies this feeling and sense of that energy. Do you find that every one of the women who wrote in the books all meditate? Do they all, in one way or, yes, they do. In one way, I, I cannot say for sure if everybody does it religiously, but everyone has tools that they use, which we also share. So part of the bonus of the book it comes with a lot of bonuses, over $2,000 in bonuses. But one of the amazing bonus is a toolkit of the number one tool, the favorite tool of every author that they use to bring about that transformation. So those are, you know, there's a meditation tool or a visualization, some practice and exercise that each co-author did to bring them that transformation. So it's there. So we, we get to share that. So we all have a practice that is meditative in quality that, you know, if you will. 
Very nice. What made you decide to put together the book? Hmm. So when I, so being in my true power, right? When we're in our true power, there's really nothing to do because you're already complete. You're already whole. There's nothing to achieve. Nothing, you know, nothing because it's your already being and having it all. And from that state, for me, it's like, okay, what from here, right? Universe, like, okay, I just want to, you know, what else? How much more fun can I have? How much more love and expansion can I have? I wonder what that would be. And I was just wondering. And I kept on asking and asking. And then I got a really solid, clear guidance that it's bringing together these women and sharing this story, actually being in our true power individually and together expanding in it and channeling it through the book and out to the world. So it was really a guided thing. It's It was a download. Of course. It's yeah. everything is, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> So one of the things is, you know, you, you've interviewed a lot of really powerful people. Mm -hmm. Who's been the most fascinating person you've interviewed? Oh, gosh, this is... Uh... <laughs> They're all amazing. Wow. Um, gosh, this is a tough Who's one. Been is there anybody yeah. else? Well, so one thing, one, I think actually that I would, you know, the, the one that's going to, that brought up right now is my interview with Marty Shymoff. I know if you know her, Love but her. because at that time, the P I, I was interviewing a lot of male, very masculine, very like very successful people. And so my interviews were very you know, like that hardcore, like that mainstream, like go get it, hard work. And finally, I spoke with Marcy Shymoff, who also has similar success as the men. And she was actually the one that said, is it okay if I share this? And she shared some stuff that's considered woo-woo. <laughs> right. This is actually what I do. And, and did you want to hear what that is? Is that what you yeah. mean? Okay. Well, so she said that, you know, I actually consult this for my books, right? I consult a Vastu expert in Vedic astrology, Vastu expert in everything that I do in um, the timing of everything. And I know that's who, who I don't know if your listeners are going to be okay with it, but that's what I do. Right. And then to me and to her, because, and also like with the context of all that male driven, just you know, nothing of these sort of stuff. It was to me the first time I heard of that and something that, you know, it's like, wow, it opened it up and such a strong female energy. To me, it was, it was very inspiring. You know, that's really great to hear because, and even your book, you know, it was all powerful women because I heard a statistic the other day, only 3% of millionaires are women. Mm. Yeah. Because, you know, the male-female energy, I think the female energy hasn't been embraced like like the male energy has. You know, men are raised to go, go gang, you know, gung-ho and let's get things done, right? But women use a different type of energy. I mean, men use it also, but they use it differently. So your book is very timely because I think we're coming into a decade where we're going to see a lot more women millionaires. Yeah. yeah. And I think that your book can be a real... Um, almost like a tool book or a handbook for women to be able to, retreat, to achieve their true power and to find those resources that will get them there. Um, you know, your book is, is just so timely and it's so perfect for this time because let's face it, women have got to come up into the world. That is so true. And you know what? That this book was birthed in the middle of the pandemic. And it was not a coincidence at all. And you know what I love to share is that in a time of crisis like this, in a major crisis, in a pandemic, it's, it's not the time for us to shrink, which that's the automatic. It's like you want to shrink, you want to hide, you want to just be scared. But it is actually the time for all of us, you and I, all of us to rise in our true power. And so that was, this is what this is all about. And I think that probably is one of the gifts of the pandemic is that you're not able to play small anymore. Right. You've got to rise above. 
And I think that the pandemic, this is my own opinion, I think the pandemic is sort of a, a signal of transformation. It's, um, you know, we've all known that this transformational wave is coming. And I think the shift probably created the pandemic. And the pandemic has opened up a lot of ways for people to be able to come out and stand in their power and do things they normally would have done they can't hide anymore. Right. Yes. Yeah. That's my belief. I, I think now this, is, this has been something that has defined history. This is going to be yeah. before 2020 and after 2020. Yeah. It is, you know, and, and one of the things that Pat and I have said in the past, too, is that this year I've heard it from several things is that this is the year in the decade of women. That we are all moving towards the collaboration and connection, and um, rather than you know, in cooperation, rather than competition, and that right. I think is going to be the big defining. That before 2020, it was all about competition. Now, post 2020, it's all going to be about collaboration and connection and cooperation. Yeah. So those it. are the female, and those are the female energies. And and I also that's great and and I just also remember from what you both are saying about the crisis you know the hardships or whatever the challenges of the pandemic when we just referring to what you said earlier Pat about people don't really have to go through that kind of heartache that we went through right of the authors hey, guess what you actually had a version of that right in the that's pandemic great. like all of us and as you can see also from all our stories that we're in this time it's really the time and an opportunity for us to really rise and find our true power yeah. absolutely so how can people buy your book they can go to www.yourtruepowerbook.com you will find all the links there barnes and noble amazon all over the world, all those, the links. And then, so you click on that, go buy the book and then come back to that page because you'll be able to claim the bonuses that I mentioned over $2,000 in bonuses. And then you also get a raffle entry to win a thousand dollars and so many more amazing prizes. Plus right now that we are in launch, it's only $1 and all proceeds go to charity and COVID relief. So we just want to make it super easy for everyone to join us in this movement of your true power. Is there a timeline when people have to buy this because the recording will be out here for a while? Yes. So um, the launch would be, we're launching February 23 right 2021 so that time if you see this go and just buy it now if you're seeing this and then the you know the raffle you'll still get bonuses and the toolkit even if you hear this you know after feb 23 you'll still get those bonuses so um but the time um sensitive one are the the raffle the raffle is time sensitive and some bonuses not all bonuses are going to be there after Feb 23. So I suggest you get it now. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I know I'm buying my copy today. I can't wait. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thank is, you. Is, it, uh, Chris, is there a Kindle version too for our listeners? Is yeah, so the one dollar is a Kindle version. Is because it, oh, we, it's, you know, it's the Kindle. Perfect. It's a Kindle, and then we'll be releasing the print and the Audible as well. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, Audible. We cannot out. afford to give um, you know, a one dollar book, a print book. That's why it's right. gonna be Kindle That's for the one dollar. For the one dollar yeah. right. for the for yeah. Kindle. Hey, I love yeah. Kindle books. So. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Well, so what are you most excited about um coming into this new decade? Mm. Okay, okay, in the decade but into this new year new year well mm -hmm. it's really just actually for me it's i'm excited about the possibilities and i'm excited about not even knowing like how amazing it can be because i'm like right now i'm i no expectations like it's just in discovery how much more great things can be it's really that, and just in awe and wonder every single day, <laughs> and just discovering how much more amazing things can be. That's fantastic. Yeah. How can people reach out to you? 
So I am on all social media platforms as Trissa TC. It's right there. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Clubhouse, if you're already on Clubhouse, um, LinkedIn. So we are, I'm Trissa TC. You can also reach me and find me at my website, www.bosstransformed.com. That's with an ED transformed. <laughs> Um, and yeah, and then if you have any questions or anything, you can email me directly info at boss transformed.com. So okay. thank you. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here today. This has been amazing. And I would encourage everybody to get the book. Um, yeah. it's gonna, you know, let's face it, this is all about transformation and this is a year of transformation. So why not get the tools and resources you need? up front so you can transform your life a whole lot easier than if you try to do it yourself. I mean, we're talking about a dollar for a Kindle book, right? It's worth the investment. Even the, even if you wait until after February 23rd, getting the book itself, it's gonna be worth your investment. It's gonna save you a lot of time. It's gonna save you a lot of energy. It's gonna save you a lot of money just by having this, these stories and being able to follow these amazing women in their transformational journey up to this point and moving forward. It's a great way of, of changing your life in this whole new year, this great new year we're going into. Aww, thank you guys for having me here. I really oh, enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And I'm signing off, Pat Nauer, Corner Office University. How about you, Barb? And hey, I'm Barbara Luna Ellison, and I'm your personality pro because personality does drive our reality. So have a great one. Thanks again, Trissa. This was amazing. <laughs> So yes, it for was. all of our <laughs> listeners, hey, leave us a leave us a note below and the, that you're here and uh, replay. Yep, definitely. Have a good day, everybody. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>